Ranger Farah. Hi, Leo. I've got some amazing news. I discovered a unicorn. Wow. A real-life unicorn? Unicorns aren't real, but it's right here in front of me. Here, I'll send you a photo. Oh, it does have a horn on its head, just like a unicorn. Hmm. There's only one way to be sure. Let's check the computer. Right behind you, Katie. Meanwhile, Farah, don't lose sight of that unicorn. Roger that, Leo. Ranger out! This will be the most amazing discovery. I'm not gonna lose it. <gasps> I lost it. Oh no, where did it go? Unicorn, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Hmm, I've got a sinking feeling. Ah! Quicksand! <gasps> oh no! More quicksand! In times like this, check the Junior Ranger handbook! Quacking? No. Quails? Not quite. Where's quicksand? The unicorn! Huh? Two horns? Hmm. It's not a unicorn. It's an Arabian oryx. Oh, it has two horns, not one. That's right, Leo. We simply have to look at it from a different angle. The Arabian oryx was almost extinct, but it was saved in captivity and brought back into the wild. Its long straight horns can grow to about 70 centimeters long. They use their horns to protect themselves and defend their homes. We should tell Farah it's not a unicorn. You want me to hold your horns? All right. Ah! Oof. Thank you, two-horned unicorn. Now, where's my... My handbook! No! Wait! My book! My dirt bike! My book! My 
my dirt bike! Leo, it's an emergency! I need help! What's wrong, Farah? Are you okay? I'm okay, but my dirt bike is not! It's stuck in quicksand! Quicksand? We'll be right over to help you get it out, Farah! Ranger, out! Let's go, Katie! Farah is trapped in the desert! My dirt bike! I thought I'd lost you! Thank you so much! No problem, Farah! Now I have to go get my handbook back! Your handbook? Yeah, the two-horn unicorn! You mean the Arabian Oryx! Oh, so that's what it is! The Arabian Oryx left with my handbook! It must be long gone by now! Don't worry, Farah. We'll help you get it back. Maybe Hero can find its scent. <laughs> and I'll scan the horizon with my binoculars. Huh? Ranger Rocky! Ranger Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you Rangers doing in the middle of the desert? An Arabian Oryx ran off with Farah's handbook, and we can't find it. Do you know anything that might help, Ranger Rocky? An Arabian Oryx travels long distances in search of food and water, but they can survive without water for many days, weeks even. It is said that an Arabian Oryx can smell rain from far away. Once it detects the scent of rain, it will travel towards it, in search of the fresh grass that grows because of the rainfall. Hmm, rainfall? I can check the weather on my tablet. Rain clouds are gathering over there! Then that must be where the Oryx is heading. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go. Wait for me, Handbook. I'm coming for you! Good luck, Junior Rangers. <laughs> it's getting cold. And dark. And creepy. Did you see that? What? I don't see anything. But it was right there! There it is again! Where? There! G -g -g ghost <laughs> But ghosts aren't real. Hmm. I don't think it's a ghost either. Let's get closer to check it out. Now, what do we have under here? My handbook! Be careful, Farah. I'll get it for you. Pardon me, Arabian Oryx. Just have to get this for my friend. Got it. Yay, my handbook! Thanks, guys! Coming right at you, Katie! I got it! Ugh. <gasps> Katie, are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. I found two baby elephants playing by their river. But one of them looks sad. Just look at this photo. What? A sad baby elephant? We can't have that. We need to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Can you and Katie come over to help me do that? Of course, Jane. We'll be there right away. Great. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Let's see if we can find any relevant information about them. Right behind you, Katie. Here it is. The African bush elephant. African bush elephants are the world's largest land mammal. An average elephant can weigh up to 6,000 kilograms and measure up to 3.3 meters high. Wow, it's so much taller than Ranger Rocky. Elephants are known for their trunks, large ears, and ivory tusks. Their large ears help them stay cool. And unlike us, elephants can flap their ears. You mean like this? <laughs> Without using your hands, Leo. But it made you laugh. Hey, I know how to cheer the baby elephant up. There they are. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zoomy. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. 
Are those the elephants, Jane? Yes, they are brothers. Their younger brother is the one that is upset. The younger brother kind of reminds me of you, Katie. Uh-huh. Oh, here they come. Gee, thanks. Nice to meet you. Huh? Oh, no! Is there something wrong with his trunk? Yeah. Is that why he's sad? There's nothing wrong with it. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Elephants use their trunks to smell, grab food, and take dust baths. They also use them to suck up water, then spray it into their mouths to drink. African elephants have two finger-like growths at the tip of their trunks that allow them to grab smaller objects. So elephant trunks are pretty important. But baby elephants must first learn how to use them. Aww, the younger elephant is sad because he's not as good as his brother. Then let's teach him how to use his trunk. What a lovely idea. Good luck with that, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Go on, give it a try. Put your trunk in the water, then suck. Aww. It's okay. Let's try again. Huh? Whoa, that's a lot of water. He's like a fountain. Hey! <gasps> Where are you going? Come back! It's wrong to show off like that. It's okay. Your brother knows he's wrong. We can help you with your trunk. Slow down. Huh? <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! He is dropped. Hang on, we'll get you out. Jane, you stay here with Zumi to watch him. The rest of us will get Platypus One. Got it. <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> he is all right. Uh-oh. Platypus One is not powerful enough. What should we do now? He's going to the river. He is soaking up water. But what's he doing with it? If we fill the hole with water, he can swim out of there. Good thinking, buddy. Come on, Rangers, let's give him a hand. I don't think that's enough. It's gonna take forever to fill it up. We need more help. Whoa. Amazing. What's going on? He called for backup. He's instructing them. All right. It'll be filled with water in no time. Let's do this, Rangers. That should do it. Yes. All right. We did it. We turned that frown upside down. Well, there. Aww. Aww. He'll be fine. Big brothers can get annoying sometimes, but they'll always be there for you. Huh? Hero! Huh? Why is Hero burying his treat? Hmm. He could be storing it for later. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. How's it going? Hi, Leo. Not too well. My smell-collecting capsule was stolen! Stolen? Yes, I just collected the precious smell of a super rare animal. I haven't stored it in my database, and now it's gone! I'll never be able to collect that smell again! Never! Do you know who stole your smell-collecting capsule? I took a photo of the thief before it got away. Here, I'll send it to you. I think it's a squirrel. I don't think that's a squirrel, Kai. But I can look for more information about the thief on my computer. Thanks, Katie. We'll find out who stole it and get your capsule back. Send us your location and we'll be right over. Thanks a million, Leo. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. 
Let's go find out more about the thief that stole Kai's smell-collecting capsule. It seems the animal that stole Kai's capsule isn't a squirrel. It's a Siberian chipmunk. A Siberian chipmunk? That's right. The Siberian chipmunks are the only chipmunks that live in Asia. They are typically found with five dark stripes, just like the one in Kai's photo. Siberian chipmunks eat nuts, seeds, and fruits like berries. Do you think the Siberian chipmunk mistook the capsule for food? You're probably right, Leo. It looks like the chipmunk didn't mean to be a thief. But we still have to help Kai get his capsule back. Let's go find the Siberian chipmunk and return Kai his capsule. Hi, Kai. Hi, guys. I'm so glad you're here to help. I can't wait to get my capsule back. It wasn't a squirrel that took your capsule. It was a Siberian chipmunk. A Siberian chipmunk? How are we going to find it? Well, it likes to eat nuts and seeds. We can lay a trail to lure it out. Great idea, Katie. Let's gather some nuts. That's the last one I've got. I hope this works. Yes, it's working. Come closer, chipmunk. Come closer. Uh, the chipmunk isn't eating the food. It's stuffing the food in its mouth. Whoa, its cheeks are growing. I wonder if that's normal. It's gonna blow. Huh? Popcorn? Oops. Sorry, Junior Rangers. Ranger Ray! Don't worry, Kai. The chipmunk is not going to explode. <clears throat> like other chipmunks, Siberian chipmunks carry food in their cheek pouches, and their cheeks can expand up to three times the size of their heads. Wow! They then carry the food to their burrows, where they will store it away so they can eat it later. See you around, Junior Rangers! Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. The chipmunk is here! Hi there! We don't mean you any harm. You have a capsule in your cheek that belongs to my friend. It's very precious to him, and it's definitely not food. Can you return it to us? Not an acorn, a capsule! Not a blueberry! <laughs> not a nut! No nuts! This is going to be a tough nut to crack. <laughs> Hero? Oh no! It's getting away! Jetpack, Jetpack activate! activate. Hover boots activate! It's over there! I just want my capsule back! We've got you now, Chipmunk! Aha! Where is it? Hey, come back, Chipmunk! Look, it went into that burrow! I'll see what it's doing underground. What do you see, Kai? I see a tunnel. Wait, there's the Chipmunk. It's taking my capsule out of its cheek. I think I can reach it with my grappler. Ah! Ants! Abort! Abort! Ew! Yuck! What's wrong, Kai? I have to get close enough to reach inside the burrow with my grappler. But there are ants there. I don't like ants. That's okay, Kai. I'll help you. Cool beans! I'll direct you with my goggles. Wow! This is cool! Now let's aim for the burrow. Got it! I'll guide you with my goggles. Aha! A little to the left. Uh, now to the right. Go straight and grab! You got it, Leo! Thank you, guys. I couldn't have done it without your help. My smell collecting capsule is back. I can't believe I nearly lost it. I spent so many days tracking this rare animal. Its smell is just incredible. A real treasure. What rare animal does it belong to? The rarest animal on this planet! 
No other ranger has seen it except me. It's one of a kind. It's the smell of a mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.